Rated M for Mario. Let's bake a urinal cake for Mario. Welcome back to Super Mario World. Uh, all right, this dot is big. I don't actually know what a big dot means in this game. Please write with your theories. My theory is that it's a cave level in a cave dimension, so instead of having ground dug under it since you're already underground, you're just in more ground. And I think... Yeah, I think these dots tend to happen. These larger dots tend to happen in underground areas. Uh, how will the Yoshi get through? The capes will help him come through. I read so in my children don't look. I also remember that I, I can actually do this! Abandon Yoshi, go right for secret exit. No, you ass, we're gonna wait. <laughs> Normal exit before secret exit. I, that's... That is my rule. The rule I follow. I don't drink energy. What are you talking about? I'm gonna get this one up. Yeah! And that was easier to do because if without the Yoshi, I'd be like... Keeping around like a paratrooper. Troopa? Paratroopa, yes. They are paratroopers. Or as Mario RPG likes to call them, Terracotta Warriors because... Damn localization. DAMN! Oh, here's someone who described the spinies, the red buzzy beetle looking things with spikes as pickle helps. That's right, the Prussians are invading dinosaur land. Because someone wrote a very la nasty letter to the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> anyway, 40 stars. That's what you want. That's, on average, what you probably would get. If you're good, G Umlau U D. Now to Vanilla Dome 2. Which, again, is also a cave, but is not... I don't know. I hadn't figured out the big dot logic. I know Rob Hacks used the big dot more effectively. In terms of describing what's going on. For instance, I think one ROM hack makes the big dot mean it's two X's except the second X is a switch, for instance. That's a good use of it, because I would not be seeing it. A well, switch palace otherwise. And a switch palace doesn't normally have a secret exit because the exit is the switch. You can just bypass that like a maniac that you are. What were you, what were you thinking? Football man's got a football plan, and his plan is to open up a path for his buddy Mario. My plan is to disregard his friendness. Mario did not like him on Facebook. Mario will not be getting sued. Mario wants you to like and subscribe. Okay. Smash that football man! With the power of parasocial relationships. Actually, that one was about to form parasocial relationships with itself by triplicating. <laughs> but I try to kill it before that can happen. Because it's super annoying. <laughs> Actually, no, the most annoying Chuck is the one that whistles. That's the most annoying one. But I like the Chucks for being variety. They're the variety enemy. Like, in Yoshi's Island, Shy Guy is the variety enemy. I tend to like the variety enemy, so... So, Charging Chuck, best enemy of the game. Five out of five. Why am I doing these Roger and Ebert ratings lately? I don't know. Also, I wouldn't be because half of it doesn't exist. Buzzy Beetles. What are they? What are they like? Do they eat mushrooms? Do they go to secrets? Do secrets reveal the mysteries of life? Okay, so there's a key I'm gonna get. I'm gonna need a P switch. And the secret's gonna go to the red switch palace. Ooh, a red skeleton switch palace. By red skeleton. Thank you, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, fish. 
which are known as cheap jeeps because they didn't cost very much money to make. This is the quality you can expect here at Game of Plays. Low quality wordplay. With no regard as to how much you like any of them. Because this is my show! You get out! Welcome to this show. So, um, that's interesting. The Koopa that was in the shell respawned outside the shell it went into. Which means it's having an identity crisis and had to kill itself. It's past self knowing it was going to kill itself. Jumps over suicidal tendencies. Does the red switch look a bit maroon to you? Maroon switch. Now you're trapped! Some say there might be another red switch, but that doesn't exist. And I'm not about to tell you about the cuttingroomfloor.com index.html page. Here's a ghost house which doesn't have a secret house. I mean, a secret exit. That's too bad. I really liked it. There's also one of two houses that have a weird obstacle in them. Why? I don't know. I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean either. But it's there. Here's the ring of booze. They go around a circle. They tell you to fuck off. And then they give you a good scare. It's always Victorian Halloween inside the ghost house. Here's a vine going up to the ceiling. I don't know why I'm doing the Madden jokes either. Don't ask. It just seemed like it had a set style, but I really don't. So, here's this green bubble thing. You know what it's called? It's called Bubble. I know, it's really boring. So instead, I'm going to call it Michael Buble. So Michael Buble likes the dark. And he likes to scare people. I heard about it in something I wrote once. This is true. <laughs> okay. Alright. The coins have indicated once again where I should go secret-wise. I mean, it's not to a secret. Just that the door is secret. And now we're out. Otherwise, I would have been Lupin. Estoy Lupin, baby. Estoy Lupin de Tres. I don't know, man. Dun, 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 dun. You know, a vanilla ghost house. That's why I didn't have secret exits, because it's just fucking plain. Jeez. Oh, in this vanilla, don't taste the lava. It's not made of vanilla extract. It's made of death and pain. That thing that comes out of it is called a PLORG! And the PLORG likes to hit you when it's nearby. That's about it. You can spin jump on the PLORG, but I wouldn't recommend it. I may be called a crazy person, but, you know, the PLORG is not exactly my favorite enemy. You got enough use of that? What's the quota counter? He put five quarters in the large jar. Oh, six quarters. Come with me to the coins and the place where the piranha plants dwell. I think there might have been an area where you could go up top and take a weird secret route to the end, and it was really cool and junk. Oh, did you know that there's a moon thing that's cost that gives you three ups? There's one in each world somewhere. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know gaming? Maybe one day I'll be invited onto that thing. I could be like the weird ROM hack and DOS guy. I'd love to be invited on that shit. Or like stuff gaming historian does, because, uh, you know, video games in a PBS like manner appeal to me. That's usually what I do with my time on YouTube, is I look up stuff like that in between funny jokes and animals. So, really, the normal demographic of YouTube, I think. Yeah. Probably. With less memes. And pickle hubs. Definitely less pickle hubs. What is the meaning behind the pipes and their different colors? What is the orange pipe? 
and blue pipe doing? Did you know that, based on how this game works, only, like, anything that goes somewhere in a particular part of the level will go to the same place? So if two pipes are in the same sector, and they go somewhere, they have to both go to the same place. That's just a little level design 101 for you. Doesn't normally happen, though. But it could. It could happen to you! You know what else could happen? This goddamn bonus. Start. 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 I'm seeing stars! Yes! Eight one-ups! I am the god now! And so the nemesis shot up the dinosaur land, taking the vanilla dome with it entirely and burning it into flames. Hey, when's my Resident Evil Let's Play? Never! Vanilla Dome 4 is next. You can tell I'm having a lot of fun with this commentary because I don't really need to say anything. <laughs> this could be a podcast for all I care. So, the bullet bill, it's back. And it's weird because it fires from both sides. And it could th keep going for a while, and I could probably make a one up happen this way. And that's a super tall checkpoint. Stop being so tall. You're making the short checkpoints be self conscious. If you call them checkpointlets, I'll never forgive you. These bolts have gone vertical. Why? Because somewhere at the bottom, someone left some cannons in the post war apocalypse of Mario World. I've also heard pray tell there's diagonal bullets. We think not of their eldritch patterns and their non-Euclidean ways. Because I like you, Euclid. Screw you. Number three is... Lemmy's Castle. You know what this means? If you like to go into the castle, you can be the Mario and wait outside. You go into the castle, and then there's a gimmick. I choose a thing at you. My friend told me that if you can use your cape to hit the, the freaking magic, and then it goes away, this makes it a lot easier to deal with. That's what I like to deal with. You get the feather. There's a little secret you can get with the door, as long as you got the P-Switch with you. Take the coins. Turn them in the blocks. Go in the door. Go in the door. If you got the checkpoint... I'll tell you how to play with the green one up guy. Then you go into the corridor, into with the blocks, and then the blocks with the dry bones. You kill the dry bones. They're bad to the bone, and they like bones and else and chain bones. Bones! And then the poop boo comes out of lava, tries to kill you with its lava eyes, and it looks at you and says, You're gonna die! And then there's a mushroom in there that might help you, except you get squished, and then you fucking die because you're a fucking idiot! No! Excuse me. Oh, oh no. Hey, welcome back! To Lemmy's Castle! We're going back from the checkpoint. I still got an extra cape. I'm not falling for that stupid lava trick again because I overthought it. Damn you! Alright, let's get in there. So, you remember the portaboo and the dry bones? You know the dry bones? Yes, good. Get in there, man. Go through the corridor. The corridor's got the mushroom. This time the shroom is useful. Take it! Oh my god, man. I can't wait. I gotta move like... Like I'm Sonic! Fuck! Let's get out of here! It's another dry bones. What does it think its deal is? Now I have to wait for things to happen because Mario can't no clip and no scope, no soul. Go even hit the dry bones and then you come and you the side and then the ceiling come down and then the floor and the lava and the cape. We got a second cape, boys! Alright, I'm gonna come out of the pipe, and then you're gonna hit me, and not two of my dummy friends! Duh! And then, uh... My ass! Oh no! And then, um... My ass again! And then... My head! Oh! Oh! I'm dead. So is my throat. Course clear. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, I think so.
Thank you. Use your hammer that you got from Donkey Kong. Thank you. Mario is triumphed over Lemming Koopa of Castle Number 3. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? No, because I left them in Canada by the Possum Lodge. No, I got them. And I watched that show. Why? That's a good question, actually. I don't know. All I know is probably something to do with male bonding. Actually, that was probably it entirely. Next time, I will go to the other part of the Double Dome I have not been yet. With the help of my Red Switch powers. And, um, if you want to hear more voice impressions, please know. I only do this at the spur of the moment. You can watch the rest of this series and hope I do it, maybe. Okay, bye.